Hey everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Debra and I'm gonna be reacting to JJ Project and I am so freaking excited about this just because um, JJ Project was one of the first groups I was introduced to introduced to when I got into the whole K-pop world and stuff and I remember I loved JB so much that um, I loved him even more than Jackson and like JB was one of my first loves like he was my bias in JJ project and then obviously coupled with dream high and all before um, we saw got seven on who is next and then they debuted and Jackson Mac and Bam Bam kind of uh, what's the word overthrew JB on my bias list and push him to the back but um, JB will always have a special place in my heart because of that same with junior JR so um, I really really have a special place in my heart for JJ project which makes me really really excited for this comeback because in the scheme of so many k-pop groups that we came up or we grew up with suddenly disbanding and disappearing or going just being in a hiatus that you really do not know when you're gonna come back jj project coming back for me is the best gift ever but um yeah i'm really 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 excited for this comeback i never in this i i never ever expected them to ever come back again i don't know why maybe because the announcement got seven so i just like expected them to be got seven forever or something but um i'm really really happy about this comeback without further ado let's check this out let's go
Holy Grady. I feel like I'm watching Sound of Music. <laughs> so much Greenland. Is he wearing his pajamas? <laughs> Way to go that way and that way come my way <laughs> anyways um tomorrow today why are you reading catcher in the ray i do not like that book <laughs> like Jae Bon, jin young pat jin young oh jj project so what is he reading because he's reading catcher in the ray but what are you reading verse two That was sweet. That was nice. I love that and the way they exchange books and all. So their ways kind of intertwined and all. But um, hold up! Oh my, wait! I just saw the screen. He wasn't done reading the book and they just exchanged. Like, <laughs> if you gotta finish reading the book first before you decide to exchange the book. Anyway, I don't blame you. Catcher and the Ray is not my favorite book, so I totally understand why you decided to exchange that book. Did anyone else that's in college? have to take that class in I think it was English composition one or so oh, gosh I hate that book <laughs> but um um what do you all think about this song I really 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 enjoyed it it has a really chill vibe which for some people might not work for the summer because people want high packed songs for the summer but for me it works in a weird way with this weird weather that we have and heat it works for me I really really love the song I love just dwelling in their vocals and the beauty of their voices that was really really awesome I love the scenery and how they really didn't do too much I felt like this envy had to be like cost efficient <laughs> oh, which I appreciated they didn't do too much and then, like I said I love the whole um, past feel of it the olden days feel of it even the MV itself like it being not in full screen but not even half screen but what will I say screen not really full not really half screen but um I like that about the MV and the whole feel of it I like that you know how sometimes when you're trying to show something that has an older feel they put this grain like texture to eat and um, the what's it called the video itself has this really it's not black and white but black and white feel to it I like that they didn't do that with this it still felt old without feeling too too old. Am I getting my point out there? But I really, really did enjoy this. Welcome back, JJ Project. I can't wait to listen to the album. <laughs> what do you all think? Let me know what you all thought in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and keep being the awesome, beautiful people you are. From me to you all, you know, I'm just not love for you all. Stay awesome.